That's actually what we want it to be originally. Whoops. I forgot like how the pain sprays work. All right, so that's that's what we want. Um, so we're gonna have to copy that. That's gonna be the original position though. So it's gonna originally spawn that way. So that means we need to create the local object that way. So I don't know if like any of this changed. I'm like kind of confused right now because I'm <laughs> kind of doing this for the first time. So we're just gonna like be safe and do everything all over again. I think the only thing I changed was the Z in the rotation, but I don't know. Just want to like make sure. All right, so now we're at rotation. Wait, what? What just happened? X, Y, Z, 16. All right, we're just going to make this actually 16 because that's how it is. And then we're going to add the rotation to it, which is 0, 270, 0. So the original position that it was already at should uh should already be right here. But I don't think I added a rotation. So move object door, move time, all of that. X, Y, Z. Wait, what? Hold up. X, Y, Z. Why is there four things here? What's that about? This would be X, Y, Z, one, two, three. Something's not right. X, Y, Z. This 13's not supposed to be here. I forgot to remove that. All right, so then everything's gonna be zero. Rotation will be zero on move time. All right, set timer, move. Move. Hold up. All right, the, yeah. So this would be move door now. So I changed it. So this is the function, so the timer, we're setting the timer of 400. Or actually, I think this is the set the timer for, yeah, I don't know. This is the function set timer, this is the function to move the door, which is move door, this is the function that controls all of this. And then I guess the time that we move it is two and a half seconds, one time, and make it true. And then when we hit the marker, that's when that happens, but we don't want that to happen, so. Um, actually, no, we do want that to happen because it's gonna control this function and it's gonna move the door back into its original position that we first had it in, which is closed, so. Once you hit the marker, then it'll close the it'll close the door, which is how it actually works in Grand Theft Auto. Um, so basically, all right. So gate two, we're just gonna. I'm just going to copy the X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z, and the rotation, I guess. 
because we want it to rotate back to where the door is open. So gate 2 is its own function, so we're moving gate 1, which would be closed, back to open. That's what uh, this is for. Actually, no, we're, we would be... Actually, I don't even think we need a gate 2, because no, we'd be moving it back to closed again. Um, this might actually not be useful. Hold on a second. All right, let's go back through this. So we create the object, the door is open. Then when it moves, it's closed. So this should open it again, yeah. Except that when we want the door to open isn't when we leave the marker. We want it to open once the repair has finished, so. Now we need to go back to fix vehicle, and I'm pretty sure I can just like copy this. Feels bad, man. I'm lazy in copying tutorials on the internet. Um, but we'll just see how it works. It might not even work. I might have to figure this out on my own, but uh... So, gate 2, move objects. Alright, so how are we gonna do this? Because... Basically, we want the door to open when the event can, uh, the event finishes. So we gotta figure out how to like make the event, make the door open. So this is gonna have to change. But on top of that, I'm gonna have to like. I don't know. I don't know what the event handler is actually gonna be, or if we even need one. I'm like, I'm not really sure. Um, let's see. So move object, move time. Which is like two seconds, I guess. Or wait, move time is four seconds, yeah. So move time and then is moving false. I don't know if we can make an if right here. Wait, do we need an if? Well, regardless, we need to create the, like, hold up. Regardless, we need to create the actual, like, fixing the vehicle part. Um, vehicles, get vehicle thingy. I mean, this actually be a function, though. This actually wouldn't work unless you made it a function. And we also need it to be tied to a marker as well, so that's another thing that we're gonna have to like figure out is how to tie this fixed vehicle to a marker. So the marker is in this location, so I guess we'd add the command or the event handler to go on marker hit. So pretty sure this isn't gonna work, but we'll try it anyway. I'm just gonna leave it alone. Whoops, even though usually you have to create a function in order for things to work. But we're gonna make this uh, literally this. Actually, no, we are gonna need a function, so whatever. All right, let's see. All right, so uh, function. It's going to be fix. Oops, fix vehicle is the actual like thing. We'll just call it fix. Oh, yeah, we need this thing too, I forgot. I 
and then try to do that, I guess. Um, so fix, and then the function will be fix. So on marker hit, it's gonna fix, but we also don't want it to fix instantaneously. Because that's pretty unrealistic that the vehicle would actually be fixed as soon as you hit the marker, so... Uh, we're gonna have to set a timer for when it gets fixed as well. So let's just say... Vehicles, get vehicle by type, vehicle... Basically the script right here should just like... You should be able to go into the marker and fix any vehicle, I'm pretty sure, so that's how that's gonna work. Um, so fix vehicle... This fixes the vehicle, alright, so... We're gonna have to like set a timer though. Set timer. Yeah, I'm not really sure how this is gonna work to be honest. Um. Hmm. is moving source marker one. Basically we need to do something like this, but it needs to activate on the set timer. So I don't know. Um, the only thing I could think of is if, whoops, if fix vehicle then set timer set timer fix Just say four seconds I'll say five seconds Not sure if that's gonna work, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. <clears throat> so let's see. We have the door moving and all that. Let's just see what happens. Like, I don't even know what's gonna happen right now. So let's uh, let's see. All right. So now we gotta go. This might just be like a entirely just like server. Side script. I don't know. Alright, so meta. I always forget like how to do this. Alright, so we're just gonna go into a random meta that I know works. Copy that. And then back to pain spray, back to the meta. Copy paste. And then make this pain spray. Which is the name of our folder. And you have to put the script name of the, the folder name, which contains the script. So my folder name that I created was pain spray. So that's what the that's what the script is gonna be. And then the type is server because it's in the server folder. That's what the purpose of this script is right now. Is to make it server side. So 
now how you would go about doing this is as you can see folder is paint and spray as I said what I'm end up gonna what I'm gonna end up doing though is going to my MTA config folder again and what we end up doing here to make things easy on ourselves in case we end up coming back to this because I'm probably not gonna finish this today to be honest since this is like my first attempt even trying to create something like this so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this put this at the top I guess why not and just call this pain spray save then we're gonna restart the server um uh, five wait i think i have to get out of this real quick all right we're gonna stop the editor Wait, did it already stop? Oh, I guess it did. Okay. Now we're gonna reconnect. How do you spell it? What the hell? Reconnect. There we go. Forgot how to spell that for a second. There we go. I don't know why I didn't do it the first time. <clears throat> While that's reconnecting, I'm going to go back into resources and find my pay and spray folder and then just keep that open for now. Alright. Um, let's go into our panel. I think I have to refresh actually. Loading resource failed. Could not find script paint spray. For resource paint spray. Couldn't find it. What? Paint spray dot lua. Oh, I did mess up. Whoops. Alright, in the resources I was supposed to put paint spray. Alright, my bad. In the meta I'm supposed to put paint spray S because that's what the yeah. That's the script. <laughs> Whoops, alright, so fix that problem. Uh refresh. There we go. Paint spray loaded. Starts pain spray. Oh no, my map. Hmm. It's actually not in the right position. It needs to be a little bit higher. But whatever, we'll fix that later. Editor. Not to start it. Start editor. All right, so I have to go back in the editor and actually remove that door. Otherwise, I'm obviously not going to be able to go into it. Dang it. Network trouble, no. I don't believe it. All right. How do we end up over here? Like, what the? Where am I going? Um, the door is not there. Okay, what is going on? It's a jellyfish. 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 <laughs> Alright, where are we going? 
Alright, so I need to load a different map. This is like my first map, which wasn't working before, I guess? I don't know. I'm kind of confused. Either way, I need to find the map that I'm on and then remove the door. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to go on the pain spray. So I'm pretty sure I'm using this one. Yeah, there we go. Alright, I just need to remove this door. Uh, object world remover. Delete. Then save the map. Oops. Save. Then back into this. Stop editor. And for some reason, my map is still having that in there. Start CTK. Okay, I forgot what the map was called. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, there it is. Alright, so. Start CTK test map. Alright, there. Alright. Start pay and spray. It's already running. Okay. There we go. I don't believe it. It's finally there. I mean, we don't have a car though, so that's a thing. There's the marker though. The marker is covering this area, so... It's not covering as much room as I would like. I would like it to cover... Like this... And then all the way back here. But uh, on top... Besides that, we don't want the marker to go out of bounds. Otherwise, you could theoretically repair your car from, like, right here or something. What the? But yeah, you don't want that. So for now, we're just going to leave it the way it is. And hopefully this uh, problem stops being persistent. Alright, so let's see if it gets repaired and the door moves or anything like that. Oh, yeah, it did get repaired. It did not take five seconds, though. <laughs> so that is not functioning, and... What is also not functioning is the door moving, which I'm already getting arguments for that, so that's not surprising. Alright, that's also a problem. If we go in... Oh my god. If we go into the marker, it repairs the vehicle, so every time it gets damaged, it gets repaired, so... That's another issue that we're having. 